For nearly 3,000 years, rug weavers have produced an endless array of designs, from religious and tribal symbols to depicting tales of heroic deeds, to floral and Persian gardens, and 16th century French aubusson. Rug weaving has evolved into an art form. Today, Rug and Home and our weavers are expanding the boundaries of design, experimenting with contemporary to ECAT, Art Nouveau to arts and crafts. Design and colors have attained new heights, but most techniques and tools used in rug making are still the same as centuries ago. While we use a variety of yarns, including silk, cotton, viscose, jute, and hemp, wool is the overwhelming choice in a vast majority of our rugs. So the quality of your rug depends greatly on the quality of the wool used. The quality of wool can be affected by several factors, including climate and altitude where the sheep are raised, the age of the sheep, the time of the year when the shearing occurred, and part of the sheep where the wool comes from. Wool gives the rugs excellent strength, luster, resilience, softness, and durability. In test after test, wool has shown that it can outperform any other fiber. It has excellent molecular memory, making it resilient and resistant to excessive wear. Plus, wool is easy to clean. Rug and Home's hand-knotted rugs use a premium blend of Indian and New Zealand wool that is considered to be most desirable for rug manufacturing. Once a year, before the onslaught of summer and unrelenting heat, the shepherds begin shearing their flocks. The wool, now long, staple, and high in lanolin, is ideal for hand-knotted rugs. Wool preparation, sorting, opening of fibers, also known as carding, and removing of dust and debris has to be done before the wool can be spun into yarn. A vast number of present-day hand-knotted rugs are woven from machine-spun yarn where the yarn twist and thickness is very even. Before the advent of machine spinning, all the yarn was spun by hand. Hand spinning dates back thousands of years, although when and where the technique was developed has never been determined. Hand spun yarn has a nubbiness or unevenness and that is what gives the rug a special texture and feel. The hand spun yarn is uneven and has places that are tightly and loosely twisted. When this yarn is placed in a dye bath, the places that are loosely twisted absorb more dyes than the tightly twisted area. This gives the hand knotted rugs a unique brush or subtle variations of color, which is highly sought after. The art of hand spinning and its use in hand knotted rugs is very desirable. Hand spun yarns are relatively rare and therefore considered more valuable. Until the 19th century, wool and yarn was colored with dyes made from plants such as indigo, madder, saffron, and even tree bark, minerals, and shellfish. These materials produce vibrant colors, but they tend to wash and gently fade over time giving way to a very soft and vintage patina. The mixture of dyes, chemicals, and water is allowed to brew like tea or coffee so that dyes are able to permanently bond with wool fibers. Knowledge and correct handling produces excellent results. Color recipes passed down from generation to generation. They have been altered and improved through experimentation and trial and error. Today, chromium dyes give us a wider range of colors to choose from and we can dye several thousand pounds of yarn at a time. Everything from the richest and deepest jewel tones to more subtle pastels and earth tones. We currently have several thousand shades in our color bank. Plus, chromium dyes are much more fade resistant.
Before the weaving begins, a design rendering, also called a cartoon or a nuksha, must be drawn. This is drawn freehand on graph paper where each square represents a knot. Design inspiration may come from Persian designs, creative imagination of the designer, adding or subtracting a motif, or taking out a border. Dreaming is very important when it comes to creating cutting-edge designs, and we at Rug & Home know that the right color palette is the most essential element of any rug. Rug & Home and our manufacturing partners come up with hundreds of new designs each and every month. With loom drawing ready and yarn dyed, the weavers can now start the weaving process. Most rugs are woven on vertical looms, which consist of two vertical posts and two cross beams. The warp of the rug is created by winding parallel threads vertically between cross beams. Each knot is tied by tying a figure eight over two warp threads, under one and over the other. Each knot is tied in a color as per the loom drawing. After each row of knots, the knots are beaten down using an iron comb or punja to achieve the required knot density. Following each row of knots, weft threads are inserted to help anchor the row of knots. Once eight to 10 rows of knots have been tied, the weaver trims the pile, revealing the rug design more clearly. A nine by 12 size rug with approximately 150 knots per square inch will have over 2.3 million hand tied knots in the entire rug and will take four weavers nearly four and a half months to weave. Rug and Home has rugs that are as fine as 500 knots per square inch or nearly 8 million knots in 9 by 12 size rug. It will take four weavers 14 months to weave this super fine rug. Hand tufted rugs are created by substituting the time consuming hand knotting with the faster method of looping the yarn through a canvas backing with the handheld tufting gun. Hand tufted rugs come in designs as varied as hand knotted ones. Many are woven with different kinds of wools, art silk, and viscose, giving them unusual textures and appearance. Weavers first tuft the design elements, which are much more time consuming, and then fill in the ground and border colors. Hand tufting is a far quicker process, and therefore these rugs are lower priced than hand knotted. When a rug is finally cut off the loom, there is still a lot of work to be done before it is finished. Although putting a blowtorch to a fresh off the loom hand knotted rug may seem extreme, very extreme. It is a common practice to burn the back side of the rug in order to remove loose fibers and excess wool. All Rug & Home rugs are then washed multiple times and depending on the desired finish, they will be given an herbal wash for a muted look, antique wash for a worn look, or luster wash for a silk-like finish. The scraping action, often done in unison using wooden paddles, is used to remove dust, dirt, and debris. The synchronous washing can really make or mar a rug and is the most important post-weaving operation.
Rugs are left to dry in the sun from rooftops as well as in the fields, sometimes for days. Rug pile at this stage is very uneven, so the pile is trimmed to a consistent height. Clipping or shearing of the pile is usually performed in stages and in combination with several other finishing processes. Rugs are subject to multiple washings in between. Different colors in the pile of the rugs are somewhat intermingled, thereby the design clarity is missing. Clarity is achieved by separating the colors with a metal instrument that looks like an oversized needle. This is a very laborious and painstaking process and is crucial to the overall design clarity of rugs. As the final masterpiece begins to evolve, every rug and home piece will pass through several rigorous inspections. Perhaps now, for the first time, after thousands of hours of work, the true beauty of the rug is revealed. Most weavers weave the rug edges with excess width. This enables sides to be trimmed off and then finish. This is called salvage binding and is finished with the appropriate yarn. In order to meet Rug & Home's specific guidelines for quality, a formal final inspection is required to double check for weave and finish. We at Rug & Home make sure that the final product represents our vision and the creativity, skills, and hard work of all the artisans that were so closely involved with every step of the manufacturing process of the art. Yeah, I'm